Hello, welcome to this match against Dryope. Uh, this is the second match of the No Terminals mix. As we see here, all of these cards are not terminals. Everything's got either plus action written on it or is a treasure or a knight. We've got Banisher, which could be useful. Um, groundskeeper can generate a lot of victory points. Um, so you want to try to get a lot of Groundskeepers in plays if you can. The problem here is you can only gain one card a turn. You could technically gain two with experiments, but it's hard to gain a ton of groundskeepers. For example, if you're getting one groundskeeper a turn, they're getting a province a turn. Even if um, after they've got four provinces, you can get four groundskeepers, you can then gain duchies, they can gain provinces. It becomes a fairly close thing. Um, but if you have deck reliability and you can reliably do that, um, I assume both players will contest groundskeepers probably. Um, I want to thin down quickly, um, which I think means loan. Um, but I also want to get a relic fairly quickly and an apprentice to thin estates. Although you can thin estates with, uh, you can potentially thin estates with banish. So I may look to do that instead of apprentice. I think I'm certainly going to open one silver. And I think I'm going to open experiments as well to try to get a big banish off early and avoid having to do the loan stuff. Um, especially if I'm playing with the silver and a relic, the loan is often going to reveal a card I don't want to trash. The idea behind the experiments is, is to hopefully on turn three or four, draw a bunch of cards and be able to banish uh, two or three estates quickly, and then pick up maybe an apprentice, maybe a minion. Um, but I think the first five wants to be relic. Um, the attack is just, just annoying enough that it seems worthwhile. I don't have any spectators to start the game because there's another big match going on. Um, but once that match finishes, I suspect we may we may get a few uh, get a few people watch it. I'm always interested by the pause between turns one and two. Um, I really like to plan out my first two turns uh, before I buy, make the first buy. Um, but I can also see like, well, I'm buying silver plus either one of four things. So you can sort of buy the silver. But sometimes when you think about it for long enough on turn two, you realize, wait, I wanted to get four experiments instead of two, two, two experiments in the silver or something. I'm um, not really sure. So I wonder if you play with minions in the deck that I'm talking about. I think because you're buying like estates with your groundskeepers, um, so this is five. Next turn is going to be uh, experiment four coppers estate. So I think I'm going to go ahead and banish two now. I think that accelerates me the fastest. Yeah, this is a little bit sad, but I can get two more experiments. And then maybe banish a bunch of uh, coppers next turn. Um, they were able to play one experiment, banish two estates. We'll see if they hit five this turn. Um, the literal, yeah, the last card of my deck is an experiment. Given this pause, it feels like they had the same, the same boat. Nope. Um, so they're going to be slightly ahead going into the second shuffle. They bought a minion. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to buy more experiments. So they are first player here, so they expect to be slightly ahead um, at this point in the game. I think there's still a lot of game left in terms of what you buy with the fives. You know, I generally do prefer um, the relic stuff over the minion here, I think at least first. Um, well, I think the minion's going to be better. I'm not sure. I want, I want to get the deck fairly thin fairly quickly. They're going to banish one estate. Okay. Okay, so now this is kind of the dream, the dream of what I was doing. I'm gonna banish four estates here, and then I'll have a five card deck, and I can just start adding in good stuff. So I can add in minion, I can add in relic. I'll pick up an apprentice at some point, and then I'll just start buying 
Do I want the minion first or the relic first? I think I want the relic first. Um, the attack is going to be a little bit more consistent. I don't necessarily always want to discard with the minion. Uh, do I? I'm, I'm considering the, di the difference between these. Um, so like if the minion's in the hand and I discard, I may only draw three. I think, I think the relic's going to be better as a first buy for consistency. Um, now I'm going to get an apprentice and then it's just, uh, start buying groundskeepers is the plan. Uh, a thinned one fewer estate, one more copper. They bought their own relic now. So I'll get the apprentice. Not quite sure what to do with four here. I can consider trashing a copper or just buying the uh, buying the groundskeeper already. See if they play their minion here, which will change things quite a bit. So the difference between our decks is I have an apprentice and they have a minion. Um, I have one estate. They have one copper difference. So um, the apprentice can thin the estate, and then I'm just going to start buying groundskeepers. If I ever miss five, I can either buy experiments or caravan. Potentially banish, but probably I won't miss five in that manner. Um, they got a minion. Okay. So I'm going to start it on the groundskeepers. You just definitely want as many of those as possible. Um, and I could pick up, I think I'll pick up, a, is a caravan here worth it? It doesn't seem super worth it. Uh, so I can either banish now or just buy experiments or caravan. Um, the caravan will be nice later on, I think. Do I need more money? Do I need to get one more silver? I don't think so. This has been a really bad two shuffles for me. Um, the relic attack combined with the minion stuff is really, really hurting me. And I'm not quite sure how to, uh, how to overcome this. I think I have to trash a silver to draw. Buy another silver. Um, yeah, this is all gone horribly wrong. Just like weird weird draws um and they've hit me with both their attacks every turn maybe the end have not been able to line up the apprentice with the estate which is fairly unlucky yeah so they're just way ahead now um me missing five was like a huge catastrophe And again, I had like a decent starting hand and then they minion me, and it's significantly worse. Um, I do have the caravan coming into play, but. This is just awful. This is just awful. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see much need in playing this out there. They're really far ahead. Um, Yes, yeah, so what happened there? Uh, maybe the apprentice should have been a minion, but I think I, I just had really bad draws after I uh, bought the apprentice that it's hard to judge. And they hit me with both attacks every turn, and I never aligned the apprentice with the estate, where I had until the third chance. If I did it on the first or second chance, I'm, I'm guaranteed to have better, better draws. Um, but other than that, it was... A you know, I had the bad second shuffle, but a good third shuffle, so it's hard to say exactly exactly where everything went wrong. Um, but they seemed like they were solidly ahead at that point. Good game.